the, the Laney Cup, the famed Laney Cup is there in front of you. The club last one in 2018 when they actually beat St. Colin Kills in the final. S similar performance would suffice. Oh, well, to win any final, you're going to have to play well. Whoever plays well today will win the two very evenly matched teams. Uh, kills are very, very good. You know, but your lads are up for the challenge and looking forward to it. And having won the league title earlier in the year, the double is on today. Yeah, a famous achievement. Yeah, yeah, well, we always knew at the start of the year that Retote and Kills were the benchmark um, for this championship. We beat Retote in that league final and gave us a great uh, boost of confidence. Um, now we have kills in the final, so we always knew it was going to be one of these if we made it this far, so here we are. And would it be fair to say at the start of the season you mightn't have been really on many people's radar, but the team have really come on a ton over the course of the season? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, As I say, everybody would have said Retote kills would be the final. Um, if they ended up staying apart and they stayed in the opposite groups, and you know everybody uh, thought that much, but Retote unfortunately got a lot of injuries, so... Uh, ended up playing kills in the semi-final, but we have been preparing for this since last year. We, we said we had a good team, we had a good batch of lads, honest lads, and a very good coach in Timmy Regan. So uh, we've been preparing for this day since last year. If we're lucky enough to get here, we'd like to be able to perform now. And by and large, you've cleaned by the head going into the final? Yeah, well, there's always a few niggles, and, but, but we have 24 fit lads today, and uh, all looking forward to it now, ready to go. And supporters of the game, most people will know, say, Sean Turrell, Paul Wilson from the County Miners, but there's a couple of other lads there who could really make names for themselves today. Absolutely, yeah. We have Dominion, half back line, and with all our lads, like Tomas Kennedy, the captain, has been exceptional all year. Our goalkeeper is very good. We have some really good forwards, uh, Zach Thornton, Michael Sullivan, you know, uh, they'll be household names after today, we hope. And hopefully around 2 o'clock, Cooney will be lifting the famous cup. I would like to think so. They're going to give it their all anyway. Joined under the bowels of the Stanley Park College by St. Colin Kills chairman Keith Lockman. Keith, it's a familiar feeling being back in the Alan Macron minor for the championship final. Yeah, it's, it's familiar. It was great, Brian. It's our fourth final in a row, six and eight years. It's a fantastic achievement, but it's a, it's a feeling that doesn't get, uh, get, get any less exciting and, and, and less special for I mean, this very special competition. And it's a credit to BGA, Brian, for all the promotion and LMFM for their for their support of it. It really is something special and I hope it's a special day for us today. You last won in 2019. I suppose the strike rate maybe in converting final appearance to victories isn't maybe what you'd like, but it's you're doing something right in your all those finals. Yeah, look, I mean, getting to a final, you know, we certainly... That's a massive achievement, right? Um, yeah, the strike ratio isn't what we had hoped it to be, but... So, so much can go wrong in the final, as you know, Brian, you know, um, conditions, nerves, decisions, short mistakes. Uh, look, look, as long as the guys take very special memories from today, that, that's all that matters. But yeah, I certainly would like to improve the other strike ratio for sure. <laughs> um, we all know, I suppose, the seven county miners you had on the panel this year, but give us a couple of names to look out for who maybe weren't on that meat minor panel. Yeah, look, I, I think in, in many ways, Brian, the, the story of this campaign hasn't been about the seven lads, it's been about the rest of the team, and that's credit to Mickey, Steve and Paddy and the work they've done. So players to look out for today, in my mind, well, so many, but uh, Evan Breen in the middle field, absolute, you know, plays football the way I love it, just work, 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 uh, very, very special. Oshin Brennan, full back, another up-and-coming star, under 16, and hopefully he'll be back next year again. Another one to watch out. Adrian Kavna, another star there in the half back line. But yeah, all 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 over the place. But maybe one uh, Charlie Bacon again, another under sixteen, great scoring ratio at that level. He, he could be one today to keep an eye out on. And I read an interesting fact last night of the team who played in the under fifteen final two years ago, twelve are starting today, there's two on the bench and there's one injured. Yeah. It's a great sign of retention. Yeah, look, we, we you know, we do everything we can to, to retain our players. Um, um, it, it's demanding that there's a lot on them, but I think it's a credit to it's credit to the team management, it's credit to the club that that, that they're sticking with it, that they see something special and that they feel uh, special. We certainly work very hard, Brian, as you know, on on, on, uh, on having ourselves as a community club and a club for life, and you know we, we look forward to the next number of years and. Hopefully these lads will come into our premier teams and senior teams over the next couple of years and, and, and stay with us for life. For that. But yeah, look, it's credit to the lads themselves 
um, and a credit to, to the coaches definitely. And of course there's a real affinity in St Colin Kills to the Blaine Cup, real close ties between the family, the club, the general area, yeah. it would mean an awful lot as a club to bring it home again. Yeah, right, it's a special competition, it is a special competition but it's extra special for our club uh, and this unique trophy in front of us and it is very unique um, presented by the Delaney family. It's our 50th anniversary as St Colin Kills this year and, and to claim this cup this year would really be a fitting tribute I think for that uh, but no matter what happens that, you know, we'll enjoy the day and take the memories from it. The folks sorry we're a little bit late getting going here it is one goal and one point to St. Colin Kills. So one goal to St. Colin Kills, one point to Dunham Ashburn. And Dunham Ashburn have a free here. Just getting it set up here with the camera. Zach Thornton here to take a free for Donna Marshman. Off the left foot. Looks like he struck it well in the corner bar. Just that seven has gone two points to Donna Marshman, one point to St. Common Kills. Here, coming along over to this side of the field, and there's a line ball to St. Colin Kills. Ball played forward there to the number seven, Adrian Cameron, but dispossessed by a combination of Dunham Warman. Here's the full forward, Kale Sullivan. Plays forward, gets dispossessed by the number two there, Colin Monaghan. On Kelly, but he was the Dukes have given a free. So it's St. Colin Kills who come out with this ball. Here's the fullback, Oshin Brennan. Looking for someone inside. He does have an option inside. That's a good ball inside to Christian Finley. Shot coming in there from the full forward, Oshin Markada. That's over the bar. Bear with me one second folks here, we're just getting things set up a little bit better on the camera. Kick out over the far side of the field. Picked up in the middle of the field here by Alex Purcell. Purcell looking for someone inside. Gets it to Zach Thornton. Come on, he just scored that free for Dunham Ashburn. All back to Purcell into the inside forward line. Here's the number 23 for Dunham Ashburn there. That's Michael O'Sullivan. Michael O'Sullivan on to the right foot. The shot coming in from Michael O'Sullivan off the post. Just bouncing away from danger there. So let off for St. Colin Kills. Into Oshino Marcada, he's striding through on goals. Coming back there is Alex Purcell to tackle him. Does he tackle him a bit hard? Yes, he does, the referee says, and it is a free in to St. Colum Kills, and they'll get a chance here to extend their lead. It is 1 1 to 2 points so far in this minor championship final. to go through the teams quickly in goals for Ashburn is Alex Ward number two Daniel Martin three Thomas Kuhn is the captain four Milo Connolly five Oshin Daly six Aidan Mackey seven Dominion Agbaha number eight Alex Purcell nine Evan O'Kane ten Sean Turrell eleven Paul Wilson twelve Owen Kelly thirteen Matthew Scanlon fourteen Kale Sullivan and fifteen Zach Thornton although I see that Michael O'Sullivan I think number twenty three is we saw him there earlier on he has started the game We'll get to the Cullen Kills team in a second. It is 1 1 to 2 points so far. After that, free converted by St. Cullen Kills. The back down there by Milo Connolly. It's cornerback for Dunham Ashburn. 
There's Luke Conlon. He's going to take this free, gets the ball inside. That's Christian Finney there, gets it onto his left foot. He goes for the curler. We've lost it here, but curls it in beautifully. That's a great story. A score there by Christian Finley. And we've actually <laughs> moved the camera forward here to get the scoreboard in. So you can see there, 10 minutes gone. One, two, two points. Alex Ward in the goals for Dunham Ashburn. That's Charlie Bacon there who gets that one, taps it down into the path of Sean Leonard. Sean Leonard blocked down. He's wearing number nine but playing in the forward line here today. Number four, Milo Connolly again gets in there and dispossesses but Dunham Ashburn lose the ball now. And here's a chance for St. Colin Kills. Tackle again, no free given, however, and said it's a free out for Dunham Ashburn. And the Dunham Ashburn crowd react to that one. St. Colin Kills crowd maybe don't like it so much. An option is either here. This is raffled a little bit into the middle of the field. Finley drops it down, but Dunham Ashburn will cover with it. Here's Dominion Agbaha. Ball picked up nicely there by I think it is Keen O'Connell, the cornerback there for St. Colin Kills. On to Adrian Cavanaugh, but his pass doesn't go as intended. He's out the high again. Pops it forward. It's a good ball forward. A mark could be called. It's Kaya Sullivan there. A mark was called. A mark, no, it's not Kaya Sullivan. Sorry, that's Paul Wilson. The big centre forward for. Marshman, and he'll leave it for Zach Thornton. And Zach up short, he will. It's over to Dominion Agbaha. Paul Wilson, Zach Thornton again. Thornton with the ball across the middle of the field. Bounces around a little bit. Zone Kelly. Don Rashford still have the ball. Looking for an opportunity. Will they take the shot? The shot comes in. Looks like that's going to drop short. There's a chance of goal. Almost went into the net. It's still alive. It's placed across the goal. It's Paul. It's missed it to the back of the net. And it's a goal for Don Rashford. A great goal. That is Sean Tyrrell with the goal for Don Rashford. Chance for Dunham Ashburn. Bearing down a goal, it's Paul Wilson this time. It's over the bar. I'm just folks just trying to get the microphone sorted here. We might fix it at the water break. Rashford coming forward again. Here's Kale Sullivan. Paul Wilson nearly get on a nice pick up. And Zach Thornton, he's dragged down. Was it intentional? Who knows? The referee, I don't think, will give it. But again, it's Sean Turrell who wins that free. And in the blink of an eye, it is 1 3 to 1 2. Dunham Rashford could take a two point lead here if Zach Thornton is successful off this free. Between the posts. A great score for Dunham or Ashburn and at the water break it is 1 4 to 1 2. As the lads go in just to get some water, we just fix things here with a microphone here, it's falling all over the place, so there will be one second.
Okay, folks, we should be in a better position now just to go through the St. Colin Kills team. David O'Brien in goals, Cottle Monaghan number two, Ushin Brennan three, uh, Keen O'Connell is four, Luke Conlon five, Owen Gillick six is the captain, Adrian Campbell seven, Evan Breen eight, Sean Leonard nine, uh, Connor Clifford 10, Christian Finney 11, Charlie Bacon 12, Aaron Grant 13, Oshino Mercada is 14, and Daniel Ehejoya is number 15. 12 is Danny Ehejoya. Ah, okay. So I presume. So just a correction there uh, from. The wrong numbers in the Put the wrong numbers in there. So a correction there from Brian, who's, uh, it's actually 12, who's Andy, or who's uh, Daniel Ehejoya. So I presume that means 15 is uh, Charlie Bacon. There's a free here for Donald Marashburn. So they play it back to big number eight. 12 and 13 switch, yeah. Just to confirm there, folks, there's a number 12 and 13 on the same column kills, there's a switch. I think there's another one as well, but we'll figure that out a little bit later on. Here's Zach Thornton. Zach Thornton getting onto that trusty left foot, and he makes no mistake with Zach Thornton. A great score for Dunhamore Ashburn. So here's the scoreboard folks, 1-5 to 1-2 after 15 minutes of play in this first half. The manager for Dunhamore Ashburn is Davy Gohan, the team captain is Thomas Cooney. And that's Daniel Choya. There gets that mark, good hands from him, plays the ball into the middle of the field. It bounces high there a little bit awkwardly, just without correction there. And the St. Cullum's kills team, folks, we'll get it for you now. And after this play, give us one second. Just watching this. And it's going to actually come away with it. Out to the middle of the field. Daniel uh, Choi is number 12, Charlie Bacon is 13, folks, so hopefully I'll try and remember those as the game uh, progresses. As the number from playing the ball around, they've dominated the last 10 minutes of possession or so, or so. it has shown on the scoreboard. Here's a high ball in, an adventurous high ball in, in towards... Kale Sullivan, Kale Sullivan catches the ball nicely, he's through on goal, get the ball onto the left foot, Kale Sullivan, what a save by David O'Brien in the St. Cullen Kills goal. He would have backed Kale Sullivan there from that position two yards out, but David O'Brien stayed strong, he stayed tall, and he deflected that out for 45, and that was an important one there for St. Cullen Kills because they're under a lot of pressure, it would have been difficult for them if they conceded another goal on the bounce, as you can see here, it's 1-5 to 1-2 after 17 minutes. So after early dominance and an early goal from St. Colin Kills, which was actually missed on this video, um, it's been all Dunhamore Ashburn since. Here's a 45 coming in, and looks like Sean Leonard will come away with that one. Sean Leonard has scored that winning point in the minor final for County Mead. Chase Hart looks like he's won a free there for St. Common Kill. So good play by Sean Leonard. Nice open game of football so far. Good football being played, good accuracy on both teams, good intensity too. Here's a short ball here to Evan Breen. Or is it Christian Finley? It's Christian Finley. I should know Christian from the bandage on his left knee. Here is Sean Leonard, and this is Evan Breen, wearing the red boots today. Ball in towards um, Charlie Bacon is 13, I'll have to, I'm looking at the programme here, but there are those changes of the numbers, so we'll try and remember them. Here's Finley, striding forward, strong run for Finley, Finley on the ball to Cahill Monaghan, Cahill Monaghan back to Finley, scored a cracker of a goal against Dublin in the minor championship two years ago. There's a tough clash there, lads putting their bodies on the line. Here's the number 14, Oshino Marcada. Marcada with the shot, and it's over the bar, and a badly needed score from St. Cullen Kills there, and they make it 1-5 to 1-3, and a good response from St. Cullen Kills after being under pressure recently. That's a good kick out from Alex Ward in the goals. Dunham Ashburn. 
is a free one. Ball played into Alex Purcell. Purcell's been involved a lot early in this game. Gets the ball forward to... I'm trying to see who that is. I think that's Matthew Scan. Or no, that's Michael O'Sullivan. And he's a judge to maybe leaned into his man a little bit. He doesn't agree with the decision. Here's Evan Breen striding forward back to Sean Leonard. Over to Adrian Kavanagh. Good play, good defence from Dunham Ashburn. Putting out that play. Here's Dominion Agbaha. Over to Alex Purcell. Purcell on the ball a lot. Lovely spring and lovely hands there from Kale Sullivan. And he loses the ball. Excellent play by Oshin Brennan. It's a big lift for St. Colin Pills and good play by Oshin Brennan. The referee will bring that one up maybe a little bit. After that reaction from Alex Purcell. St. Colin Pills go short with it. I think advantage was being played on that occasion just for a pullback. Here's Christian Finley involved a lot earlier on. That trusty left foot of his played the ball inside. Excellent pass from Finley in towards the 15. And the 15 is um, Charlie Bacon, I believe. Or no, it's Aaron Grant, I believe. Sorry. Again, apologies for the issues with those. But at the end, it's a, over the bar and a great score there. I think that was um, Daniel Choya there with that score. So it is 1-5 to 1-4, one, one point in this game, 21 minutes gone. These two teams really have been two of the kingpins really in minor football over the last number of years. Um, St. Colin Kales winning a number, Dunhamar Ashburn winning a few as well, most recently 2019. And Shockland of course are the most recent winners of the minor championship winning in 2020, beating St. Colin Kales, if my memory serves me correctly. Here is Zach Thornton, he's fouled, there he is, he is a free in for Dunham Ashburn. Management on the St. Cullen Kills team is Mickey Conlon, Stephen O'Brien and Paddy Gillick. And it's Owen Gillick who is the captain for St. Cullen Kills. This is a free a long way out from Zach Thornton on his left foot, which is a difficult side from him for him, but he has a big boot. Going for the shot. Does he have the distance? No, he doesn't. It's going to be short. It is a free out. On that occasion, possibly for a push, I think. Here's Daniel Choya. Getting the 1 2. Possibly taking too many steps. Possibly a little bit harsh on that occasion. One of those times where if the player dilly dallies a little bit, the referee just uh, assumes that he's taking too many steps. But it is a free in. Fourth and number Ashburn, and another chance for Zach Thornton to hit this one over the bar. Thornton goes short this time. Good run for him. Gets the gets the second pass back. Takes the shot. It's going to be very high. It is wide. So another chance going and begging for Dunham Ashman. We do have a substitute here on the St. Cullen Kills team. It's number 21, Evan Hughes, who is coming on for St. Cullen Kills. We'll see who's coming off. This is the number 10, Connor Clifford. Disappointment for Clifford. Could have been subbed early on. This is uh, Luke Connolly striding forward. The high ball from him into the inside forward line, right into the corner. Chasing that one is uh, Aaron Grant. And there's a line ball to Donamar Ashman. Just that confirmation there. He said Ty Duff. Ty Duff is down as number 19 on the program, uh, not 21. So uh, 21 is actually Evan Hughes. So it's Ty Duff there that was announced as the player that that came on. So again, difficult when the numbers are 
different to what's written down in front of me, but I'll try to remember that it is Tyg Duff that has come on number 21 for St. Column Kills. Throw ball up here on the far side. Might be difficult to see behind the wire here in a second, but it is a free out to Dunamore Ashburn. Behind the pillar, I should say, not the wire. Dunham Ashburn coming out with it. Huh? No. Okay. Um, Dunham Ashburn here. Getting the ball out to. That's, that was um, Paul Wilson there, and uh, the ball coming in. Good ball into the inside forward line. Here's Michael O'Sullivan. Michael O'Sullivan trying to take on his man. Again, we lose him behind the pillar. He pops up the other side of the pillar. He's a just have over carried there. And there's a free out to St. Cullen Kills. So Michael O'Sullivan, he's dangerous there. He's low to the ground, low center of gravity. Great hurler as well, of course, from the old Sullivan family. All good footballers and hurlers themselves. Good work here from Evan Breen. It's the ball over to Oshino Marcada. Breen is down, maybe got a slightly late hit there. He'll be okay to continue. Good play to Owen Gillick, the captain here for St. Cullen Kills. Here's Finley. He's pulled back a little bit. He's got advantage there. It will be advantage. No, it's Sean Leonard has the ball, so he allows a play. No, the referee does eventually call it back for a free in from that drag back. And Christian Finley. Finley looking the ball short. That's a dangerous ball into the inside forward line. This is good play from St. Colin Kills. Here's Ed Choya. Ed Choya on to the left foot. It's blocked down. Well, quite on more Ashburn. Possibly Thomas Cooney there, the captain for Dunham Ashburn getting on that. But Dunham Ashburn spilled the ball, maybe a little bit careless with the hands. Here's Paul Wilson. He wins a free, tracking right back into his back line. Here's Dominion Agbaha. He has a bit of space out here. Will he take on his man? He does. He's pushed. And it is a free. He'll play on. And get the ball forward. All the way to Kale Sullivan. And back to Agbaha again. Pushed him again. He's awarded the free. That's good play from the wing back. From Dunhamar Ashburn. Winning two frees in a row. And giving his team a chance to get a two score lead. Again, we've seen Zach Thornton go short from some of these frees. It's probably just on the limit of his range, I would imagine. But it looks like he's going to go for it. Oh no, Andrew Smith there, the Dunshockton linesman, tells him he has to come into the correct position. Crowd oh, not happy with how long he's taking. It looks like he pushes this to the left, it could drop short, it will. In around the box and looks like St. Colin Kills come away with it, but do they spill it? No, they don't. Uh, Keen O'Connell eventually trying to get it away at the second or third attempt. That's the number 21, Ty Duff. Comes away back to Keen O'Connell. Here's Daniel Choya. Playing the 1-2. Getting the ball inside, plays another one too. And now Luke Conlon takes the one too as well. And he wins a free in. So St. Conk is building from the back. And it will be Conlon who'll take this free himself. He looked for options inside. Let's see if he has any. We'll zoom out a little bit to see what he has. He goes over the far side. All the way over to Finley. Finley being opposed by Alex Purcell. But Finley with the shot. And what a score from Christian Finley over the bar. And we have a level game here in Park Talton. Just coming up to half time. 1-5 apiece. 29 minutes gone. You can see there a great game of football so far. Two evenly matched teams. Let's see how this kick out goes. 
Alex Ward with the kick out again. Christian Finley picks that up again. Getting onto his left foot outside of the boot this time. What a pass from Finley. Finley inside. Here's a shot coming in. And St. Colin kills the fist clenched there by Aaron Grant. And in the blink of an eye, St. Colin kills from being a point down are two point are one point up in this game. And Finley central to all that creative play, scoring a point and then setting up that with a beautiful pass to Aaron Grant. Again, I believe it's Aaron Grant wearing 15, uh, not 13 as he is in the programme. Hopefully I have that correct. And Rashford, go short with it. A lot of swings and momentum in this game. St. Colum Kills starting off well. Conor Rashburn coming back strongly and now St. Colum Kills really coming back strongly towards the end of the half. And Evan Breen wins this free in. And it's brought forward there for a bit of descent from the Durham or Ashburn lads. And they give the ball away. It's a sloppy play on that occasion, uncharacteristic from St. Colum Kills. Not an inch given for either side, either side here, both teams. Very tight defending, very tight marking. Both teams find it difficult maybe to work the ball out of defence, but what a crossfield pass there by, I think it was Paul Wilson with that crossfield pass. Here's Kale Sullivan. Kale Sullivan, beautiful outside of the pass, boot, but just maybe a little bit too close to Keen O'Connell. He comes away with his half time here. In part Alton, it is. St. Colum Kills 1 6, Donald Ashburn 1 5. We're back at you for the second half short. Alright, folks, ready to go here for the second half. And there's 1 6 to 1 5 to St. Colum Kills here at the start of the second half. Christian Finley stepped into midfield. Big midfield of Donald Ashburn of Alex Purcell and Evan O'Kane up against them. It's Evan Breen, the big number eight, with Christian Finley in the middle field. Ball put in the middle of the field. Oh, it's Paul Wilson who's actually playing midfield here. Wearing number 11. Gets the ball into Sullivan. Sullivan over to Owen Kelly. And Kelly back to Evan O'Kane. O'Kane to Paul Wilson. Paul Wilson over to Alex Purcell. Here's Evan O'Kane. Sorry, folks, just trying to get around the pole here, unfortunately, in, here in Park Talton. It's a crossfield ball over to Dominion Agbaha, but it's Endy Echoya, or Daniel Echoya, sorry, I keep t Endy is Daniel's brother. It is Daniel Echoya here on the ball once more, working hard for his team at St. Colin Kills. Come away with it. And that's a foul on the number. 12, who I believe, uh, I'm trying to remember who the number 12 here with some of the changes are. Um, maybe number 12 is, is Aaron Grant, I think. Let me just check that one. Mr. Finney drops that ball into the square. Here's a chance pulled on by Sean Leonard. Sean Leonard has his hands up claiming something. Sean Leonard back to him and he sticks it over the bar. And it's a two point lead for St. Cullen Pills after two minutes. So fast start to the second half, forcing Cullen Kills. Here's Alex Ward in the goals for Dunham Ashburn. Looking to go long, he does go long over the far side. A great kick out from Alex Ward. 
Referee didn't blow the whistle for a mark there, as far as I could hear. And he should have. This is Oshin Daly. Gets the ball back to Thomas Cooney, the captain for Dunhamore Ashburn. Milo Connolly collecting that ball. But good work from Christian Finney. He's just possessed no, but the judge have tackled too ferociously by the referee. And it is a free for Dunhamore Ashburn. Number nine, Evan O'Kane. Gets the ball over to Ushin Daly. Ushin Daly ball down the sideline, but good play by Ushin Brennan. He cuts that one out. Good play from Brennan. Tight full back line here. Do St. Cullum Kills have here is Sean Leonard. Switches the play nicely. Good pass from him. Into the path of Ushin Omurku. Ushin Omurku plays the 1 2 nicely. He's in on the goal, is he? Good side sets, but good play by Dunham Rashford. They get the bodies back there and they come away with it. Here is Daniel Martin. Is Dominion Agbaha. He's the sister possessed by Sean Leonard. Good football here, lads. Good tackling. And Leonard wins a free. In. A little bit argy bargy there. A few handbags between the lads. It looks like. Dominion Agbaha will be spoken to here. No, just a tick for him. Is a free in for St. Colin Kills. Luke Conlon here to take the free. Looking for options inside, doesn't have too many, has to go long. It's a good ball from Conlon into the inside forward line, collected well. Back to Ty Duff. Ty Duff, nice play by him. Back to Daniel Choya. Gives that ball away and away he comes Aiden Mackey. He does well. Good centre back play from Mackey. Gets the ball. Owen Kelly. Owen Kelly got that ball. Bounces around the head a little bit there. And Paul Wilson. And Evan O'Kane near the big number nine. He strides for a little bit of a slower build up here from Dunhamer Ashburn. Normally they move the ball a little bit quicker. Here's Alex Purcell, tackled by Sean Leonard. Here's Dominion Agraha. Sean Tyrrell with the long ball in here to Kea Sullivan. The big full forward is tapped down nicely by him. Is there a Dunham Rashford man there? There is. This is Michael Sullivan. Michael Sullivan trying to get onto his left foot. He takes the shot, but just goes to the left, to the right, and wide. And that was Ty Duff there, tackling all the way back. So still a one point lead. For St. Colin Kills. Sorry, two point lead for St. Colin Kills. 1 7 to 1 5. Ball into the middle of the field. What a catch by Daniel Ed Choya. Looking for options inside. Tells his man to run. Puts off the left foot. A long, high ball into the square. Wrestling going on here in the back. Alex War comes towards it, but it's a goal it's a goal for, Denver, or for St. Colin Kills. And I believe that is Charlie Bacon with the goal for St. Colin Kills. Confusion at the back for Dunhamore Ashburn. Confusion between Alex Ward and Thomas Cooney. There's wrestling going on. Alex Ward wasn't sure whether to come out or not. But it was Charlie Bacon who got the fist to it. And got the goal for St. Colin Kills. And they are in the ascendancy now. 2-7 to 1-5 after six minutes of this second half but a lot of football yet to be played in this game Oshin Daly here's Alex Purcell and to Aidan Mackey long ball inside go played by Keane O'Connell he's played really well today Sean Leonard, Daniel Choya, the man who caused that goal with a nice catch in the middle of the field and the ball inside, another long ball in, but that one going to the left and wide. And a chance for Dunmore Ashburn to get possession back and to build another attack. You know, five points down, you suspect the next score is important for them to get. This ball goes short to Dominion Agbaha. Aiden Mackey carrying the ball forward gets it to Alex Purcell. 
Alex Purcell, ball over towards Kael Sullivan. Kael Sullivan can keep it in. Oh, he does well, Kael Sullivan there. The ball was kind of going nowhere and possibly going over the sideline, but does well to win a free. And gets the ball back to Alex Purcell. Purcell looking for options inside. Colin Kills are dropping a man back there just to cover the ball into the likes of Zach Thornton and uh, Michael O'Sullivan. So it'll be up to Dormer Ashman to break that defence down. Here's Paul Wilson, here's one man who can do it. Number 11, facing number 11, facing Christian Finley. Wilson gets it to Michael O'Sullivan. Michael O'Sullivan back to Wilson. Wilson hip ships a shoulder from Christian Finley. Probably thought it was on the borderline of being fair enough, but it was a judge to have been in the back, and it is a free in for Dunham Ashburn. So good leadership there by Paul Wilson, winning that free for his team in a very important time, five points down, and now they get a chance to narrow that gap to four points. And narrowed it certainly is. <laughs> So Matthew Scanlon comes on, he was, this is the start at number 13, but he comes on as number two, Daniel Martin who makes weight. So change has been made by Davy Gohan just after half time. Ball into the middle of the field there. Evan Breen does well. Himself and Cale Sullivan going up together. Owen Gillick, the captain, playing a nice one too. Getting into Oshino Marku. Oshino Marku. Great ball inside to him. Good play by Cooney. Daniel Choi is on the Daniel Choi pulls out of a save. Well, by Alex Ward in the Dunham or Ashburn goal. And a very, very important save there by Alex Ward as another goal would have been very difficult for Dunham or Ashburn to come back from. But St. Cullen Kills certainly look dangerous when they come forward. Maybe Dunham or Ashburn a little bit more open defensively. Whereas St. Cullen Kills maybe setting up a bit more defensively and being very difficult to break down as a consequence. Finley with the shot, he goes short to Daniel Echoya. This is a set move from play. What a score from St. Colin Pills. Very, very clever play. As that was a move that they had worked on in training. Christian Finley with the ball short to Daniel Echoya. Echoya outside of the left boot. What a score from him. See there, the score is creeping up 2 8 to 1 6. So five points in the difference. Ball into the middle of the field. Bounces over a few St. Colin Kills men. Uh, Fuchs have over carrying there. Sean Turrell with the ball into Kale Sullivan. Kale Sullivan. He's kind of coming out the field a little bit more than usual. Getting the ball into Michael O'Sullivan. Back to Sullivan. He kind of <laughs> threw that with the one hand, but his other hand was being held, so it is a free in for him. He's come into the game here in recent minutes, so chance for Zach Thornton to hit this free and close the gap to four points once more. Zach Thornton, when he's when he's within range, is very accurate. Maybe sometimes in the first half he was a little bit further out than he'd like to be. Takes a solo off the left foot, off the right foot. Takes a hop, takes a second hop, takes a third hop. Shot coming in, it's going to drop short, it does drop short. Again, just maybe that range, not quite there. As Christian Finley comes away with it. Outside of the boots, trusty left foot, but it's cut out really well. By Matthew Scanlon, the man who's just come in off the bench. There's a ball inside, but cut out well. There by the rear guard. That's the fullback there, Ocean Brennan doing really well. And the fullback line of St. Colin Kills really impressive today. Sean Leonard combining there with Daniel Echoya. And there's a line ball to St. Colin Kills. Number eight, Alex Torlin, is 
Oh, number eight, Alex Purcell, was replaced by Josh Lancaster. I thought Alex Purcell was having quite a good game, actually. I'm not sure was that injury related or anything, but it is a substitution made. Dominion Agbaha just getting the hand in there, the, the knee in perhaps to keep the ball away from Andia Choya. As Luke Connor with the line ball trying to get it to Sean O'Hare, he gets it at the second attempt. Very dynamic footballer looking for someone inside. That's not a great ball from him though. It's well cut out. By the captain there, that was Thomas Cooney, he got it to Oshin Daly, who in turn got it to Milo Connolly, and it's Alex Grant who offers his services to carry that ball out. Here's the new man in, it's Josh Lancaster I have in my program, number 24. Dominion Agbaha getting it to Paul Wilson, Wilson back to Agbaha. Maybe running, needs a bit of support, he's tackled, he has the ball back there, he needs support a second time, no, he doesn't get it. He concedes a free, it's Sean Leonard. Tracking back there, here's Christian Finley. Finley back to Evan Breen, Evan Breen over the far side of the field. Good ball from him, all the way into... Uh, Charlie Bacon or Aaron Grant again. I'm sorry, I've forgotten which way the numbers are fixed there in the St. Colum Kills team. There's a chance here for St. Colum Kills coming forward. Here's the substitution in. It's tight up and tight up. Has done really well since he's come in in this game. He's a big man and he gets his first score of the game, and it's a good score from him. And the score, just see there, 2 9 to 1 6. So, six points in the difference, and Column Kills beginning to pull away. Kale Sullivan trying to bring the back into the game. Here is Josh Lancaster. Josh Lancaster back to Kale Sullivan. The tackle hard. Josh Lancaster back with the ball, but it's blocked down. Again, that defensive unit of St. Column Kills, really impressive. Kills come away with it. Daniel Choya. Look at the carried the ball to the big cheers there of the Dunham or Ashburn faithful here below us. Well, a forward to Kale Sullivan. Kale Sullivan gets a hand and it does well. Is this Michael O'Sullivan getting through on goal? It's his foul. And that's an interesting one because. If, he, if the referee was playing advantage, I heard recently the second free should be the free. Maybe he had blown the whistle before the, the second foul occurred, but he was foul a second time in the square. But he's made his decision, it will be a free in to Dunhamar Ashburn. And it'll be Zach Thornton who's going to take this one. Should be an easy enough for one for him. Takes the ones from the other side off the left foot. He looks like he'll hit this one off the right. Good to see two-footed footballer like himself. He sticks it over the bar. And he brings the score. We are back to five points as both teams will take their water break here. So St. Colum Kills coming out very strongly in the second half. That goal, probably the key score there with a mix-up in the back. It was Daniel Choi who went up and plucked the ball. And I believe it was Charlie Bacon who was inside an inside forward line with Thomas Cooney and a bit of confusion there. Alex Ward came off his line and just tapped over his head into the goals. But Alex Ward of course made up for that with an excellent save a couple of minutes later to keep Dunham Rashburn within touching distance of St. Colm Kills. Strong instructions coming in here from both sets of managers. 
Here you can see this is uh, Mickey Conlon giving those instructions to his team. And over here, Davey Gohan. No, it's not Davey Gohan, that's Timmy Regan and Mickey Dock. Doing the business for Donovan Ashburn. So with about 15 minutes to go in this minor championship final, it's all on the line. St. Colin Kills leading by five points. Here's you can see a worked kick out here for St. Colin Kills. It doesn't work for them as it looks like Dunhamer Ashburn will let this ball out over the sidelines. So they did well there to combat the set play of St. Colin Kills. Matthew Scanlon on a come on as a substitution. Getting on the ball, here's Evan O'Kane. Machine Daly, tackled by Sean Leonard. Here's Paul Wilson, county man of course, the county midfielder. High ball in towards back line. Donna Marsh will come away with it. Here is Josh Lancaster. That's coming as a substitution here is Sullivan. Looking for some options. <coughs> There's a shot from Zach Thornton coming in. Does it have the accuracy? It is a great score. There. From Zach Thornton off the left foot. Trying to G up the lads, get them going. And There's four points in this game after coming up to 18 minutes. It's 2-9 to 1-8. Ball goes up to the middle of the field. Mike Baha gets a hand on it. Dunhamer Ashburn have the ball back again. Here is Sean Turrell. Turrell back to Conan, but that ball's given away. Here's Sean Leonard. Over to Daniel Echoya. Echoya back to Leonard. Leonard on the run. Back to Echoya. And Echoya, will he try and get it onto that good left foot of his? He does. And it just goes to the left and wide. Didn't get the good strike on it. Maybe just a couple of mistakes creeping in on both sides. Maybe some fatigue kicking in. It's Oshin Daly comes away with this one. Dominion Agbaha. Getting the ball back to Oshin Daly. Oshin Daly to Josh Lancaster. He's been involved a lot since he's come on in this game. Here's a foul. And Agbaha has done really well there to win that one. Gets up and down the field really well. Looks like the referee is going to talk to Christian Finley here. And will he brandish him with a card perhaps for that challenge? Well, it's a yellow card. Probably a little bit harsh, I would have thought. Thought he was going for the ball, but the referee has the final say. Evan O'Kane getting on the ball, looking for options inside. Twisting, turning this way, that way. Eventually, as he lose the ball, he touches it on the ground. And again, just Dunhamore Ashburn. Maybe he doesn't have the options inside, not getting the runs inside that he would like. Or maybe St. Cullen Kills are just dropping men back there and it's just finding it difficult to find space inside. Number 21 there, uh, tight up. It was a nice step from him, but he's just have over carried. And again, you see these St. Colin Kills dropping those two lads back, covering the ball inside. So Dunhamar Ashburn have to go short, and Dunhamar Ashburn need to find a way to figure out how to combat this defensive structure of St. Colin Kills. You can see they, they were the lining bottles up, but he's up here. Zach Thornton, will he take the shot? He fixed the ball. It could be a chance at goal for Dunhamar Ashburn. Sean Tyrrell was in there, he got a hand to it. But eventually, it's Luke Conlon who is in there, and he does well to thwart that attempt from Sean Tyrrell. And uh, Conlon went down with a little bit of an injury. It looks like the umpire has spotted something here. This could be interesting. He's going to report something here. Let's see, I'm sure the referee looks like he was signaling a little bit of a, a punch gesture there. 
Not sure which side he was talking about. We'll see now in a minute. Depends on who he calls over. He calls over the number 10. It's Sean Tyrrell for Dunmore Ashburn. And it looks like Tyrrell will at the very least get a yellow card here for Dunmore Ashburn. It is a yellow card for Tyrrell. So he'll have to be careful for the rest of the game. And Dunmore Ashburn will need him for the rest of the game if they're going to get a win here today or going to get back within touching distance of St. Cullum Kills of Betty's Town and Lay Town. This is Luke Conning, what a game he has had. Really good player. It's up and down the field a lot. That's the ball inside there, but good play there by Thomas Cooney, the fullback for Dunham Rashburn, the captain here today. And back to Aaron Grant. Here's Daniel Choya bouncing off men one way or the other. Eventually, first to take too many steps. A big cheer from the Dunham Ashburn crowd. The St. Colin Pills crowd don't like that one too much. They thought he was probably being fouled as he went in. Dunham Ashburn needs option. This could be a bad mistake. They're only giving the ball away. But luckily enough, getting the ball through to their colleague. This is the number 12, this is Owen Kelly, over to K.L. Sullivan. Sacked to Winton, solo dummy from him. Gets it to, uh, that was Josh Lancaster who is behind the pole. Evan O'Kane, ball to Paul Wilson, Paul Wilson with the shot, the drop short to David O'Brien. And again, another chance going and begging for Dunham Ashburn. As you see, Thomas Cooney there was penalised for a foul, I believe, on Oshino Marku. Off, off the ball, off camera. But the referee did spot it. And it will be a free in to St. Colum Kills. Looks like a substitution for. St. Colin Fields. But what a game Danny Ayachoya had has had for St. Colin Fields. Has run all day, covered every braid of grass and even chipped in with uh, a point or two as well. Here's Christian Finley. Striding forward. He's got Owen Kelly after him. He wins the free for St. Colin Kills and this will be a chance for St. Colin Kills to extend their lead. It is 2-9 to 1-8 after 23 minutes so it looks like St. Colin Kills are in pole position here to take home the minor championship trophy. Finley sticks it over the bar and a good score. Oh, Christian Finley. Alex Ward now. Needs to get this kick out of the way. So Colin Kills pushing up on the men. Oh, it comes to Stanley, but bouncing around a little bit. Minion Agbaha gets the ball away, plays the one-two, has played really well so far in the second half. Getting the ball into Michael O'Sullivan. What can Michael O'Sullivan produce from here? He's got some magic. Here's Paul Wilson. Paul Wilson takes the dummy, takes the solo, cuts back inside, gets the ball over to Zach Thornton. Zach Thornton with the shot, trying to see where it will land. And it looks like it'll go right wide. And then another chance gone missing. So Dylan Smith comes on for Owen Kelly. Dylan Ashman. Yeah, final few chances here for Dunham Ashman to get back into this game, but Evan Breen has done really well to gather that ball in the middle of the field. Looks like we'll have 
hard for Evan O'Kane. This could be black, you know. No, it's a yellow card. I thought the man was dragged down to the ground. Here is Christian Finley. Christian Finley trying to get it onto his left foot once more. This one goes high. Looks like it'll drop short though. So Conor Kells might still have a chance. Uh, the ref, the umpire has his hand up there for a 45. I thought, but obviously not. Dunmore Ashburn come away with it. Three and a half minutes of regular time on the clock. Five points in the difference. Dunmore Ashburn need a goal to make the final minutes of this one a close game because St. Colin Fields look like the stronger team here, but there's a lot of spirit in Dunmore Ashburn. Timmy Regan there, the trainer. He'll have instilled a couple of things in them to always keep fighting to the end. But it's another free for St. Cullen Pills. And um, let's see if they can extend their lead to six points. Score there from Ushin Omarku. Sean Terrell coming into the middle of the field. Maybe a bit late with the signal for the mark, but does eventually claim it. It's the ball inside, but again, got full back line there from. St. Colin Kills really, really strong. That time it was Owen Gillick, the captain, but playing in a more defensive role. And there's another chance, probably chance for St. Colin Kills. Will they fist it over the bar? No, that's good defence. Excellent play by Aidan Mackey tracking back, making sure that Dunham Ashburn don't concede another score. So, as you can see, 2 8 to 2 11 to 1 8. Coming up to 29 minutes played in this game. Ball into the middle of the field, bounced around a couple of lads. Eventually comes to Matthew Scanlon. And we get it inside. I think a Colin Kills man has come away with it. He has we lost it behind the pole here. Imagine that uh, St. Cullum Kills just need to hold on to the ball really for a couple of minutes, but looks like they're still attacking, still going for a score. Here's Ushin Omarku. Cross field ball from him. Looks like that could be a tasty little pass inside. It's not, it bounces around. Oh, they do come away with it. And it's Christian Finney once more. He sticks it over the bar. That would be the insurance score for St. Cullum Kills. 2 12 to 1 8. There's a man down for St. Cullum Kills here the inside forward line, so he'll get some attention. But we'll also have some substitutions here for St. Colin Kills. That's the number 18. That's Tiernan Rowley, if the numbers are correct on the programme. That comes on. So number 15 there, I think that's Aaron Brandt that comes off. It's ball into the middle of the field once more. The mini and Agba hat as well to get that. Don't know how he grabbed that one. It should be a free. Looks like to be a yellow card here. Dunmore Ashman, last chance for them. They might need to throw this ball into the square, see if they can get a goal. It is a black card. On that occasion for the number five. That's Luke Conlon. He's had a great game. Luke Conlon has had and that time. 
he has to make way for the black card. It's going to be lobbed into the square here, or is it gone short? That is gone short. I'm sure this time it'll be lobbed into the square, or is it? Yes, it is. Let's see where it goes. It goes wide, disappointing end to that move, and that could be the end of the Dunham Washman challenge here today. Rory Kelly comes on. And uh, Common Kill is already celebrating. They know they have this game won. The lads on the field aren't finished yet. They win that free. Sean Leonard goes short. Gets the return ball back. Has to be pushed over the line, is he? The linesman has his flag up. It's Evan O'Kane getting the ball over the far side. And I have to give credit to this St. Cullen Kills team. Very strong. Dunhamar Ashburn put up a great challenge in the first half. Just ultimately, maybe made a few too many mistakes in the second half. Few too many. Ball's going straight, shots going wide, etc. And found it difficult to break down that St. Column Kills defence. But it is the day for the people of Laytown and Bettystown as they will come away with this championship win. As the final ball comes in, a shot off the post. And a foul there and a free out to St. Column Kills. I think the referee there is probably going to talk to Paul Wilson, I think. Gives him a yellow card. Sean Leonard. And he hasn't stopped working anyway, even in these latter stages. And we have the full-time whistle here. In Park Alton. it's a win for St. Colin Kills. They are the 2021 minor champions. A well deserved victory on a scoreline of two goals and 12 points to one goal and eight. And commiserations to Dunham Ashburn who have done the club proud getting to this final, putting up a big challenge to two St. Colin Kills. Worked really hard throughout the day. Good to see some sportsmanship here from Oshino Marku. Congratulating a few of the Dunham or Ashburn lads. And then as well, Owen Gillick, the captain for St. Cullen Kills there. Congratulating uh, Thomas Cooney there. Sean Leonard consoling Thomas Cooney. Nice to see. Cooney absolutely devastated. Wanted to win that one for his team. A good sportsmanship on show here from both teams and from St. Cullen Kills there. Magnanimous in victory. Well deserved victory. Always good to see. And that'll be it folks. St. Cullen Kills are the 2021 minor football champions.